Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Saturday, May 7th. And I remind you that daily messages and lots of great stuff are at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us every Sunday morning at 1030 for worship. My scripture today is Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9. What has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done. And there is nothing new under the sun. This is the word of the Lord. Well, we know exactly what the writer of Ecclesiastes meant. Of course, we have cell phones today, and we have so many advances in technology that were unknown when my father was growing up. I remember him telling me how excited he was as a boy to run outside and see his first airplane flying through the skies. And, of course, we all remember telephones that were as heavy as anvils with frayed material around the end of the cord and so forth. But that doesn't mean that those things were new or unheard of. What it means is they were just incremental advances along the march into our futures. Truly, in terms of human yearnings, human achievement, human failings, and in the way human beings interact with creation and with God, truly, there is nothing new under the sun. However... Something really got my attention this week. My son brought me an article, and I read it just thinking, wow, Star Trek is here. Because NASA, the space administration, beamed aboard the International Space Station a holographic doctor. And those on board could actually interact with this holographic doctor. And of course, it was a projection of a doctor here on Earth. But the point is, he could see them and talk with them. They could see him and talk with the doctor. Now, they couldn't touch, although NASA says that's on the horizon too. But just think how important it could be on a long stay at the space station or on a long flight to actually have something personal for medical consultation and comfort and nurture. It makes a difference. And the technology of this is just amazing and frankly a little bit beyond me. I want to remind us that we don't have any holographic images in our homes. We have our televisions, of course, and we can use our phones to have photographic calls one with another. But we do have a Lord who is ever-present. We don't need to summon up a holograph. We can feel the precious touch of the Spirit. We can feel surrounded by the arms of our Lord. And when we need it most... God is always present. There's nothing new under the sun, but there is always a beautiful opportunity to celebrate the blessings of the Son of God, even our Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.